His epic love anthems and theatrical style are what made Meatloaf unforgettable, a rock star who could outperform the best. He skyrocketed to fame following the release of Bat Out of Hell in 1977, a collaboration with songwriter Jim Steinman. At first turned down by record companies, it was finally picked up and sold more than 40 million copies. This album is right up there with Rumors from Fleetwood Mac, the first greatest hits album from the Eagles, uh, Dark Side of the Moon, Thriller. It's just one of those records that everybody had to have. The larger than life, when you, what you saw with, with Meat is what you got. Rory Dodd sang back up on that album and was with Meatloaf when he heard it on the radio for the first time. Two lamps were broke because he was just jumping around the room. And I can't believe it, I can't believe it, crash. Meatloaf was born Marvin Lee a day in Dallas, Texas. He got his break first in musical theater and acting. He played biker Eddie in cult classic The Rocky Horror Picture Show. My name is Bob. During his career spanning six decades, Meatloaf was in dozens of films and TV shows. Meatloaf is an actor who acts like he can sing. Ten years ago, he spoke with the CBC about the meaning of success. Success is not measured by how many records you sell or how big a box office it is. It's, it, success is measured uh, by how you feel about it. In a statement, his family says he died with his wife and daughters by his side, who are grieving an inspiring artist and beautiful man, saying, from his heart to your souls, don't ever stop rocking. Renee Filipponi, CBC News, Vancouver.